Hey everyone, so I did a brief video um, sometime over the weekend on IG about anchoring um, parts of your document in MS Word. So a lot of people ask me exactly how to do it. So I thought I would just make a video, a quick video on how to do it. So I did some of them already, but I left one available so that you can see it. So we all know you can write your table of contents by going up to reference um clicking on reference and then you add your table of contents here you can choose any one okay but if you don't want to do that and you really want to just get directly to the point of your document that you want to get to this is another way to do it um so you are going to create first thing that you need to do is for your subheading or your heading whatever it is that you want to highlight this one and you're going to create a heading for it. So you click on home, you go up to the top and you click heading one. And once you click heading one, now you have a live heading. Now, if you don't like the font, you can also go back and highlight it, go back to home, change the font to anything that you wanna change it to, change the size to anything that you wanna change it to. I was like, um, so, um, sizes that are huge so that I can see because I wear glasses but anyway but if you don't want to have to go through that for each and every heading that you're going to put into your document there is another way to do it so when you go up to your heading tab and you click on heading you're gonna right click and you're gonna go to modify once you click on modify, you're going to put what you want the heading to look like. So you can change the font here. So I like that font. I want it to be a size, let's say 24. I want the color to be red, right? Um, it's down, you go down here and it says add style to the gallery. No, I don't want to add it to the gal gallery. Um, do I want it to be automatically updated? I can click automatic update and then it will automatically update it throughout the entire document, but I'm not going to do that either, but that's how I would change it. And then I'm going to click. Okay. So now the font is the way I want it, but I've already done some others and it, see it automatically updated it throughout the document. So all of the fonts, all of the headings look alike. One of the other good things about the heading um, is that you see this little arrow right here. It all actually collapses your information. So once you click on it, all the information below that heading will collapse and hide away under the heading. It hasn't gone anywhere. All you have to do is click that arrow again and it on collapses it and you can see whatever it is that was under the heading and you can do that for all of them so it reduces the amount of page numbers that you have and just that doesn't look overwhelming you know when you have like 50 60 pages you're like truly overwhelmed if you collapse everything um then it just looks like you have like a you know one page document but that one page document is actually maybe a 50 page document once you've on um you've uncollapsed everything so now that i've done that and I want to anchor. These ones are already anchored. I'm going to anchor um, um, Bab Babdo. So um, the first thing I had to do, like I said, was actually create a heading out of Babdo. So if I took Babdo and I went back and let me uncollapse it and I make Babdo a normal um, font, okay? When I go to try to anchor it, so let's say I click on Babdo, I highlight Babdo, and I click on Babdo. When I go here to anchor it, um, you're going to see that there's no Babdo here. I first have to create a heading out of it in order to ha anchor it. So I'm going to go back here, highlight Babdo, and then I'm going to anchor. Okay? Now, to anchor Babdo, I'm going to highlight in the contents, this is where I need to anchor it from. I'm going to highlight it. I am going to right click. Then I'm going to go down here where it says a link. I'm going to click on it. And most people go here to link to do a hyperlink, but you don't really realize what else you have here. So you can, um, this is where you would hyperlink and you put your, um, website here and then it will automatically hyper hyperlink but you can hyperlink within the document this is called anchoring it so once you press place in document it shows you all the headings that you have available 
to anchor to, right? You can create a new document altogether, or you can put in the email, email address and make it so that when they click on your email, it takes them um, directly to that person or to um, actually start emailing that person. But we're dealing with place and document. So I want to hyper, I want to anchor Babdo. So I'm going to click on it here. I'm going to click OK. And now it's hyperlinked. And how do I know it's hyperlinked? Because when I hover over it, it says control click to follow the link. So Babdo is the first one. So I'm not going to do it. Let's say I want to go to Karen. I'm going to press the control button the left click on my mouse together and it takes me directly to Karen Doe. Regardless to whether I have it on collapsed or collapsed, it doesn't matter. It'll take you directly there. So it doesn't matter how much information you have on your page, just by anchoring stuff to the top of the page, you can find anything on your page that you want to find any um, heading on your page that you want to find now there are other ways to find things in microsoft but that's a whole nother video altogether. and then of course once you clicked on it it kind of changes color to show that you actually did click on it so if i um control and click it takes me to jane doe and that's just kind of how you do it so I hope this is helpful for somebody, especially if you're in business and you're always creating different documents for your clients and so on and so forth. Yeah. And then the next one I think I'm going to do is to show you how to share. I know a lot of people use Google Docs because they don't know how to share documents in um, Microsoft and get real life feedback. So I'll show you how to do that if you're not really fond of Google Docs and you want to continue to use Microsoft.